What's up everybody and welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. In today's video, we're going to show you a quick 15 minute spring cleanup on your arborvitas. Let's take a closer look. So these really haven't been touched for a couple years and as you can see, there's a lot of buildup of the dead plant material around these branches right here and the main thing that we're going to be doing here is pulling out the dead plant material and then we're going to be trimming up some of these branches that are down below that just don't have any life left in them so first of all you just take your hands pull out everything here hi, hi buddy and we're going to prune up some of the branches that are dead. There is growth in here. If we take a real close look, you pop in and see that there is growth here. So when we take these cuttings, Sterling, wait a second, buddy. When we take these cuttings, uh, that's going to flush out some of the growth as well. So new branches will form here. So we're just going to take out some of the areas where it's just overgrown that one looks good and then like up here we see a lot of dead plant material just gonna shake that off and then see like uh, where it gets a little bit crowded and cut off those areas that are dead And again, this will fill in with time as we're kind of encouraging some new growth uh, to fill in those areas. So what happens is the inner parts of the tree that don't that doesn't get any sunlight, um, it's going to drop all of this plant material and it just gets caught in all of the branches. So that's why it's important to take this out because over time, let me see if I can get a good example. A lot of thick bumps here. There we go. If you look at this, it is starting to decay in the tree and basically turn into soil. And we obviously don't want soil up in the tree because that's going to cause it to decay and rot uh, where it's growing out here. What I'm going to do now is just complete this process with these trees here. I'm just going to take out all of the dead needles and plant material and trim up and take out any of the dead branches that I see higher in the tree. So looking at it, there isn't really anything up high that is dead, but if you have an arborvitas that have a, a random dead spot or two, go ahead and cut those out. Don't worry about having a hole in your arborvitas because that's gonna fill in eventually and it won't be an issue. It's more of an issue if you were to keep that end of the tree and it causes disease to spread throughout the tree. That's going to be the problem that we're trying to avoid here. And that's why a spring cleanup is definitely necessary, if not every year, every other year. So I'm going to get to this and then show you guys what it looks like afterwards. While we're in here, we're also going to kind of trim out any branches that are rubbing on each other or cutting across. So like these ones on the inside here that are just cutting across, eventually those are going to cause an issue and um, will end up rotting. So we try and open up this whole area in the center so we won't have as many issues with these needles in the future. Okay, here we have the arborvitas now that they are all trimmed up underneath. Now would also be the time if you would like to take a hedge trimmer and go along the sides and tighten the plants up if you would want to. Um, that'll again help encourage some new growth in the trees, but I'm not going to do that because they look great the way they are. Let's take a closer look and see what we got here. As you can see, we just went in, took out all the dead material pulled everything down and now we're left with all of this stuff all of the needles all the branches everything underneath um, you might be wondering what you can do with that if it can be just turned into compost or not yes you can use this as a compost but we recommend not putting it on your gardens until it's been in your compost pile or tumbler or what do you whatever you have 
um, for like a good season or two, I would just recommend a year, give it a year in that compost tumbler or bin and then at that point you can give it out to your garden and it makes a great compost. Before that, um, it's just a little bit too acidic for most gardens. So that's why that one year timeline is usually recommended when using any sort of arborvita or you know cedar um, trim trimmings for a compost. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll catch you guys in the next video.